What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next video on the channel today. We're jumping back into Duelist of the Roses. You guys have been so gosh darn patient. And we are finally, finally going to attempt to take down Kaiba. You're here much sooner than I expected. I knew that Crawford would turn on us one day, but I didn't expect the tide of battle to turn so soon. Actually, Crawford's betrayal and the fall of the Yorks, Yorks, Yorkists matter not to me. All I hoped for from this tiresome struggle was to find an opponent worthy of my attention. When I knew you'd been summoned, I chose to wait. Each time a member of my Rose Crusaders fell before you, I shivered in anticipation. Once you beat the last member, I knew you were ready to face me. Long have I starved to bet best a duelist equal in power to me, hungered to best such an opponent in battle. You wish to have my Rose card? Then take it from me. Face me in battle, duelist. Yeah, that's right. He has... He has the last rose card. We don't even have, we don't have all the rose cards yet. So that means that this can't be the last battle. This music, why is it jumping? Oh my goodness. All right, so we have Labyrinths. We have normal, oh, thank goodness, some normal. Blue eyes, your leader ability, increased movement, level cost for reduction for summoning the same type. So dragons are cheaper for you, fun. Not that it matters, you always have infinite stars. I'm actually gonna move over to the right for this one. Uh, no Pumpkin King to start, that is a huge sham. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these two goons right here. We're just gonna, we're gonna empty out two cards in our hand. We'll leave it in attack mode because it really doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, this music. Like, is it, it's insanely loud for me right now. I don't have an option, it's either loud or off. What did you do, I didn't even see. You moved over, whoa, you moved over too, that's right. You've increased movement on your leader. Oh my goodness. All right, so you do have a pumpkin and we have a pumpkin king as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna put this pumpkin king right here. And I'm gonna hope whatever it is that boy just summoned uh, isn't too crazy strong. Let's go ahead and end our turn that way. I think we're not gonna have any stars. I think we're gonna be pretty low on stars next turn. Gets a power up off for his, with his leader. Moves up one. He's probably gonna wanna stay on planes. I'm assuming dragons like planes. That's what I'm assuming. Uh, I could be wrong. Okay, we can actually pump this pumpkin up, but I'm not going to. We're gonna go ahead and move this back. So I wanna delete it. We're gonna delete that guy next turn once we have the stars to delete him with a pumpkin king. Oh, he's going in the middle. Okay, this is a little scary. So we're definitely gonna pump our Pumpkin King on this side, because the other one is, being, is gonna get, be getting buffed. It doesn't look like my enemy's making any advancements in that way anyway. So I think what I would like to do is I would like to summon my Pumpkin King here and pump him up. Okay, you're deleted. Get you off the field. You're at 2,800 right now. How close are you? You're, you're a little while away. Part of me doesn't want to, I don't want to flip this face up. I'm actually, I do and I don't. I want to start pumping even more, but I kind of want him to attack into me. Hmm. I think I'm going to flip the face up. We're going to, we're going to go for the buffs over the surprise attack. I think in the, at the end of the game, the buffs will be worth more than him attacking into me. I think, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. We're kind of cornered up here. Turtled up a little bit. We're going to get double buff. Um, let's see what else we got. We got to have some sort of zombie. Okay, we literally do have a zombie. Okay, anything else I place over here is going to be semi-trapped. I'm going to place something here. We're going to go ahead and have you just straight up start getting buffed. That's it. Kind of the routine now. Kind of the standard gameplay for our deck is to get pumpkins out and really, really, really hope that this guy that's approaching me right now is not strong enough to take on a pumpkin. Like, if he can take on my double buffed pumpkin already, if that's like a blue eyes that gets buffed by the freaking land, I'm gonna be upset. Uh, with three stars, I really can't empty out much of our hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it alone. I'm just gonna leave, I'm just gonna just leave it, just leave it the gosh darn alone. Okay, he is moving forward. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? How is, how is this possible, Yugi? Why are you able to defeat my blue eyes, white dragon? 
I don't get it. How can you do it? How can you do it? Okay, now let's empty out a bunch of her hand. Um, I kind of want to... Let's do this. Let's empty out all that. That way we might end up with a Shadow Ghoul. Bam! We end up with a Shadow Ghoul, which can get buffed as well. We are truly cornered right now, boys. We are truly cornered right now. Kaiba's music is kind of out of control. Oh, he is going to start going that way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's see if he advances anymore with this guy, with this big, this main guy in the middle. Are you? Oh, he's not advancing. Awesome. All right, that's a super good sign for us. Uh, anywhere else we'd summon, we'd have to delete something, so we're not going to do that. I do want to check my hand. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to be deleting the hashtag out of these guys on the board. We are going to be deleting them so fast because you already know. Look at all these cards that Kaiba's placed down. He's going to have some mirror walls. He's going to have some like negate attacks, some pot of greets. I don't know what, but there's going to be some crazy stuff happening. Like if he's able to just run over this pumpkin with like an effect, like, oh yeah, destroy pumpkins. I eat them for, for Thanksgiving, so it's fine. I'm going to be where we just lose at that point. Okay, which one of these is weaker? Probably the ghoul. So we're going to summon a pumpkin king of ghosts on this ghoul. Thank you. And you can't, they can't really get to him without getting through this pumpkin, so I'm fine with flipping him face up. For more boosts, please don't kill any of my pumpkins yet. Let me live, please, and thank you. Hmm. Yes. Right into defense mode. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. Let's go. He's got so many cards in the board, it's insane. But we're about to have all the pumpkins. All Kaiba is allergic to pumpkins. Fun fact. Oh, we can't. We still can't summon another one. Well, shiver my timbers. 4100. What? What? I feel like we should get to like 6,000, right? Because if he has mirror wall and we attack into something and like say it's a blue eyes and it's at 3,000 if he's not on the planes. Then we would, then we would die if we're not at like 60, if we're not at 7,000. Oh, mountain. Oh. Oh, so they don't get buffed on planes, but they probably get buffed on mountains. Yes. Just like the card game, ladies and gentlemen. They're not warriors. They don't get buffed on planes. It really, I don't know what traps this man's going to have, but he's one of the last duelists. I think he's going to have a bunch. Sorry, my 3,000, uh, I guess I didn't necessarily need to do that. I didn't necessarily need to get rid of my 3,000, because that would have been my fifth monster. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay, I guess, but I, I don't know that it's going to matter. That one duel we made a misplay, we, we ended, like, we lost, and we made a misplay, then we won that duel. So maybe making misplays for me is a, uh, is beneficial, you know? It could be beneficial for all we know. Okay, here we go. Four boosts every turn! Four boosts every turn. Oh my god. I'm just gonna end my turn. I don't even need to look at my hand. Are you kidding me? What is Kaiba gonna do to this? Alright, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards on the board. I think. No, eight! Nine! Oh my gosh, he's got traps on deck, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. All I have are my four measly pumpkins. That's it. Four measly pumpkins. Uh, I think I'm gonna start moving in with this one. I, if he has mirror wall, man, then he just got me good. I'm just, I'm being a little impatient right now. I could have waited three more turns, four more turns, and been completely safe. But you're in defense mode right now, so I'm gonna really hope you don't have the mirror wall somewhere. Let's see. 53, maybe I'm regretting it. Maybe I should just go back in defense mode. Cause literally, if, the, if that pumpkin dies, uh, we, are, we are out of luck at that point. What do you do again? Okay, you, you can go down. You're gonna be our line of defense. If this pumpkin fails. Ha! 
All right, we're face fighting a dragon. No trap activated. No trap activated. So I think we're doing pretty good. Look at these plane. Look at these mountains. Destroying my pumpkin and your own dragon. You fool! Come on! All right, I'm gonna end my turn right there. I'm gonna end my turn right there. So, we're, we're gonna have to move another pumpkin around town, just so you guys know. We're actually, uh, my placement for these pumpkins was pretty sour. Was pretty darn sour because I'm gonna have to take a pumpkin and start going around this way and then this pumpkin's, my main pumpkin's gonna have to walk through these mountains or climb through these mountains, I guess you'd say. It's gonna have to climb through over here and start going this way. And then my other pumpkin's gonna have to get over here and block him off for us to actually kill him. But for now, we're gonna advance here. Uh, how strong are you? You're 5,000. Uh, I think you're strong enough to take on, start taking on some folks. Let's do it. Let's see what else we got. We're maxed out on the board. We could have another, oh my goodness, if we had another zombie. No, no, we're gonna leave you, we're gonna leave you. Because the second I start advancing my pumpkins, uh, things could get dicey, dude. Things could get dicey. So the fact that these things, okay, I was gonna say, if they stay in attack position and they're right in front of me, I'm afraid. I'm slightly afraid. Okay. Boost me up, baby. Baby, it's boosted outside. Okay, let's move up one. That's all we can do this turn. We're just putting on that pumpkin pressure, dude. That pumpkin pressure, bro. Oh, what? Oh! Are you, are they gonna juke me? Dude, I actually think they're gonna try to juke me. Oh no, that's not good, honestly. Like, I can destroy one of them. This is gonna destroy one of them. But anything else, and I'm scut rude. I could play a little Jenga back here if I have to. I can move this up, move me over, and move this pumpkin up. So we'll be fine at the end of the day. So we can just keep advancing. Uh, I'm gonna move you in through the mountain. I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get in that little slot before his leader moves. That's kind of the plan. Yeah, you better back up. You better, you better get nervous. Gosh darn it, you better get nervous. It's funny, the light looks purple in my camera, but it's blue. Maybe it does look blue. I don't know. You guys can let me know with hashtag blue or hashtag purple in the comments below. Let's see. All right, we can attack things. I'm gonna attack you right here. La Jin! Oh, straight up iconic Kaiba card. Straight up iconic Kaiba card. Yes, in the mountains too. That's where the lamp resides, gosh darn it. That's where the lamp resides. And we'll bring you in. That's all we gotta do. That's all we gotta do. Our pumpkin's gonna be like 7,000 attack before this is over. I think our Spectre's gonna be safe back there. I don't even think he's gonna get attacked, if I'm honest with you. He will be good to go. Good to go. Bam. Swordsman of another land? Of a foreign land? Oh, what is your ability, though? Don't stun me, man. Don't spellbind me with your thinking hand. Don't do it. The original thinking emoji. No way. Crap, dude. Crap, dude! All right, as long as you don't have another one of those, we're fine. As long as that's a limit one per deck for you, I am, I'm, I'm fine. I will not, I will not be dissuaded from coming and hunting you down. Now, I, I I, think the enemy AI doesn't actually delete their own cards. I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and delete some of our cards, actually. Uh, let's do this. Let's get rid of these. Because if we see another zombie, we can, if we see a strong enough zombie, we can make another pumpkin and get it going. Okay. Uh, we already moved you. And we'll end our turn. We shall, our turn shall end. No! 
I don't want to see that, man. I don't want to see you put face downs down. Now that I know that your swords can just chop up a pumpkin all willy nilly. All right. I'm getting a little nervous because he's, he's making some proper advances towards the back. You know, the fact that this card right in front of me is still in attack position. I'm never attacking that. I'm never. That's got to be a trap, dude. That's a, that's bait. That's some hardcore bait, man. You can you can stay there for all I care. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't know if this zombie plus this plant works, but we can try it. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna take this turn to do my my shuffle. We're gonna eat that air eater. Munch away, munch away. Let's get me in the corner. Let's get you here. And let's see, I don't think these two will fuse. I'm gonna save the plant though, in case it doesn't work. Oh, it does work. Oh, but it's not a, uh, and it's a zombie. That's really bad for me, man. That really sucks. All right. All right. I knew it. I knew one of them had to be over a thousand attack. I freaking knew it. I just disobeyed my, I disobeyed my in-laws, man. Straight up. Straight up did. It's all good. We're gonna have one turn of no boosts, which is a bad time. Oh, he's moving it away. So I don't think it's the warrior again from a different land. Okay, we're gonna move in. We're gonna throw you in defense mode. Defense mode. Let's see what else we have now. Just a bistro butcher, garbage. All garbage, basically. Cool. Nice. Nice, dude, nice. Let's end our turn. I think we're pretty much we're pretty much done with pumpkins at this point then. I think. Uh, unless another one goes down. Oh, he just he fused right in front of me. Is he gonna keep that there in attack position? Because he just did it this turn. Like I know he powered up, but it can't be stronger than my pumpkin. Please stay in attack position. Please stay in attack position. Dang it, dude. Alright, at least we know those aren't swordsmen. At least we know those aren't swordsmen. All right, at least our at least our woodsman can like at least our swordsman can uh, do the most. Whoa, sword stalker! Is he gonna slice and dice my pumpkin too? Come on. Okay, good. Whoo! Nothing. Cool. Let's end our turn then. I mean, he's gonna start running away sooner or later, right? Once he starts moving, we'll figure it out. I'm not worried about that card because my monster is going to destroy that card. And then I also have a pumpkin sitting right there. So I'm not sure exactly what he's going to do. We can eventually corner him around the board just by moving stuff around. Power increase again. Uh, he's going to get pretty low on cards. Well, he's going to get to 17. We're already at 15. Or we're kind of done with our deck for now. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're done with our deck. Let's see. Judgment! He's judging! Stop judging me. I'm trying my best here. I am trying my gosh darn best here, okay? I don't want to hear judgment. Get your cross off your head and put it back in your pocket. All right. If he doesn't delete his creatures by running over them, we just win. I feel like the AI refuses to do that. I feel like they refuse to delete their own creatures because they think it's going minus. I wonder if he can move twice through his creatures. Oh, he can't. Okay, he still has. To, okay, so he's gonna slowly. He's on the run, dude. Lord of D in face up defense position. Why? Why in face up defense position? What do you do in this game that warrants that? I want to know. While this card, all dragon monsters in the field are immune to effects of an opponent's spell cards. Okay. So I don't really, I don't care too much about that. We can just destroy you. We can finish this Lord of D off. Your D has been dismembered. Let's go. Get it done. Get it done. And you're gonna have to run over another card, bro. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. I could start advancing this guy, but I don't feel confident in my defenses back here yet. If I had another pumpkin, I would feel a bit more confident, but I don't. So we're just gonna end our turn. I, I'm not. I'm not losing this one. We're way. We're way too close to winning this one for me to lose. That's just nonsense. 
That's just outright, straight up nonsense. Okay. He's moving inward now. Which is not terrible for us, obviously. Uh, we have enough defenses back there to 100% stop him. Right? He's got... There's no way he can plow through these pumpkins. This pumpkin's 5,400 defense right now. So his Dragon Kaiser is going to go ahead and attack my Fiend's Hand. It's a 2,300. And my Fiend's Hand is 2,900. So we're actually not even... We're not going to kill him. I don't know if Fiend's Hand actually... Oh, yeah. Fiend's Hand just spellbounds? Really? Oh, I thought, I thought it killed it. Well, that's my bad. Bro, we actually might be able to win back there then. If he's spellbound, he's stuck in attack mode. Let's see what our strongest pumpkin is back here. Because if he if he stays spellbound... Let's see. Spellbound for only one turn. Ah, oh, wait. I think if we move our pumpkin over... 23, 3,000... We'll be just shy. We'll be... We'll hardly be able to... Mm. I think it's still worth it, though. I think it's worth it. Because I think he's going to stay in attack mode, and we can get a good amount of damage off on him. Almost 3,000 life points. Almost. Let's throw away some of these cards and see if we can dig deep to some other stuff. You never know. Well, actually, you do know because it's your deck, so you kind of know what's in there, but you never know. All right, let's keep letting this Pumpkin King of Ghosts negate attack. I have been negated. I knew he was going to have negate attack. I knew it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. The spellbinding is over, so let's go ahead and attack you and take away 2,800 life points. Get it out, Kaiser Dragon. You foolish little... Get your nails. 3,800. I can't math. We just won. I literally cannot math. We win. Kaiba, you suck. I would blow you right off the castle. Pumpkin King Ghost has been promoted again. Dude, that means for the final battle, we can make him our leader. Or for the next battle. Who knows if it's final. All right, give me those negate attacks. Let's see. One. One. No, wait. One. Oh, my gosh. He didn't use that much. One. 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 No! Oh my gosh, we were so close! We were so close! Oh man, the counting boys. I am a counting boy and it worked. Man! Well done, duelist. I may have lost, but my heart sings with the joy of having faced you in battle. Really? Kaiba sings? Can we get a Kaiba musical, please? I can show you the world. So it's a duel to be remembered. I take great pride in the fact that I file, fall by your hand. Uh, and if you believe that, I'll sell you some swampland in the outer reaches of the realm. A duel to be remembered indeed. At least, that part of it is true. For thanks to you, I have completed the ritual for the great summoning of the roses. Listen and learn the truth as to why I've let you survive to this day. The Rose Duelist is an integral part of the gr to the great summoning. For only by unleashing absolute power from a duel can the great summoning succeed. There is only one reason why I came to England and sided with the Yorkists. I needed you. I knew that once the Lanc Lancastrians were con cornered, they would turn to the High Druid and summon the only one who would wield the power equal to mine. The ritual for the great summoning is nothing less than a high power duel with the Rose Duelist. And the key to the ritual is having all the Rose cards here at this hollowed site. In short, your victory is a hollow one, child. Ah! The time has come to savor that which has eluded my clan for centuries. With the coming of the card guardian, I will seal a pact that will ensure my rule as those who will descend me throughout the future. Kuwa! 
lightning strikes just like in the beginning where we were summoned. Oh my goodness. Bro. Bro. He's got a goatee. Manowden Fabler. Yes, he is here. The Guardian walks this world once again. Welcome, O oh Great One. To celebrate your arrival, I offer you a sacrifice. I offer you the Rose Duelist. Hmm. It seems there's a misunderstanding here. Well, it matters not. The Rose Duelist is definitely a fine offering that only a fool would choose to pass up. Oh, baby. So we are getting uh, offered 1985. Well, something tells me. Oh, look, and we can change if we want to fight Seto again. That's cool. Something tells me this is going to be an interesting duel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I feel like this is not going to go as smoothly as Kaiba did. But we'll have to see you in the next one. Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.